what is up guys welcome to my first YouTube. Today I will be bringing you through my 5 a.m. routine as well as a detailed leg day. I have included my warm up, cool down, and some form tips in there too, so make sure to check it out. So I do this routine from Monday to Friday every day. I do take a rest day somewhere in the week. I take two rest days at the moment. When I take that totally depends on how I feel and when I think I need it. Sometimes it's on a Wednesday, Thursday, or else sometimes I even push it to the weekend. So totally just depends how I'm feeling on the day. I have been doing this routine for a few months now. I started it back in October. I used to always be an evening gal, always. I used to do a full day work and then come home and go to the gym at like 6 p.m. But I am never going back. So the main reason I switched to the morning workouts was because I was working three jobs at the time. I was a teacher, a personal trainer, and a spin instructor. I just do two of those right now, but I didn't have the time in the evening. My whole day was me giving myself to other people. So I could have worked out at like 9, 10 p.m. But honestly, it was a no for me, like I was too tired. So that's why I made the move to the mornings. Honestly, it could have been so easy for me to be like, I'm too tired, I'm too busy, but I didn't. I just had to prioritize. So maybe if you're someone in that barrier right now, if you're too busy, uh, always working, always running around with kids and you don't have time, you just have to prioritize. You gotta get up before the kids, you gotta get up before everyone else starts their day. Like you can get it done. There is always a way around it. So you just need to find what works for you. Not to be dramatic or anything, but this morning routine has changed my life. I will not be going back to the evening. The morning routine just makes me feel so much more energetic during the day, more present, less stressed, more patient. And um, like, I actually can't believe the difference in my mood, my attitude, like I'm so much more positive. I think just starting the day for yourself before you go into that crazy world is so important to just check in with yourself. Um, the evenings obviously has benefits, like sometimes you're more energetic, but honestly I found for the most part, I used to often come home from work, have my dinner and go, and depending on the food I ate during the day, I found it really affected my workout. Like, I would be too full, like too sluggish, in a bit of a food coma. Um, I know that that's just what I ate and there is ways around that, but I didn't like the like fluctuations. Like I know it is so tempting to stay in bed in the morning, like trust me, I know it's so easy and you wanna be in that cozy bed when that alarm goes off, but honestly, the feeling you feel after will always win. You're never gonna regret going to the gym. You're never gonna regret going and doing something nice for yourself before the day starts. It's just, you're not. Like you might feel a bit tired during the day, have a coffee, you're fine. But yeah, I, I think I'm definitely gonna stick to it even when my schedule calms down. Um, But for now, I'm still working two jobs. I'm still teaching and personal training. So I still don't have time to go in the evenings. Random evenings, I might have an evening off, but I like the morning, it's a routine. I'm stuck to it, I'm going, it's done. Some of you guys had questions about my 5am routine. I did put up a question box on my Instagram. If you don't already follow me, I'll put it here. A lot of them were about my food. So I did answer them at the end of the video. So if you keep on going, you will get there. Yeah, I think honestly, I answer all these questions. What's my morning routine? I'm gonna show you right now. Um, how long does it take me to get up, get ready? Honestly, 10, 15 minutes. You'll see here, I just get up and go. I don't mess around. It's just, that's it. Um, and I'm currently training five days a week for the people who ask that. Okay, let's jump on into the morning routine. Keep on watching to see what I do every day and follow along the detail leg day. I hope you guys enjoy it.
okay, let's get into the workout. I always start every workout with a dynamic warm up. I find this really helps me wake up and get the blood flowing and just get me ready for any movement patterns I'm doing. It is lower body focused, so you will see me stretching out my quads, hamstrings, glutes, hip flexors, and activating my core. My warm up usually is about 10 to 15 minutes totally depends on how much I need. If I'm feeling like my body is tired or stiff or tight, I will give it extra time and attention. I was feeling good today, so I didn't need to spend too long at it. Please bear in mind that a lot of these are sped up and cut. You should take your time with these exercises. Make sure they're slow and controlled. Here is a quick fit check. Everything is Gymshark. I'm wearing the flex shorts in Earl Blue Marl and the minimal sports bra. Okay, we are starting today with some squats. I always start with some warm up sets. I really take my time and just focus on my form and breathing. I usually pause for a moment at the bottom too, just to make sure my form is good and I'm even in the hips. Now take notice that I am not squeezing my glutes at the top of any of these reps. Your glutes are under the most tension at the bottom of your squat and squeezing up the top is not really necessary for glute growth and it can often lead to hyperextending and putting pressure into your lower lumbar. I'm just doing five sets of five for strength and there we have it. Next up, my biggest love-hate relationship, reverse lunges. Now you will see people swap legs after every second one, but I do like to stay in one leg for all reps just to really feel the burn and then I'll swap to the others. So I'm just doing four sets of eight reps on each leg. Notice that I have a slight hinge forward into that front leg. That is just to turn on the glutes a little bit more and 95% of the weight will be in the front leg and 5% on the back. Now we're into RDLs. I love these, it could possibly be my favorite exercise. Form is crucial in this and it is the hardest to nail down. So you're gonna start by hinging at the hips, slight bend in the knee, make sure that you have a nice neutral spine, keep the eye gaze forward and down. Don't look forward in the mirror or that will put your spine out of that neutral position. Your range of motion does not need to go all the way down to the ground. You're aiming just to go towards the shins and then back up to that starting position. That will depend on your range of motion. Some might be a little bit higher. What is a leg day without some heavy hip thrusts? We're going for the good old fashioned hip thrust today. No fancy things here. We're doing three sets of 10. Major thing to look out for here is foot position. Make sure you're at that 90 degree angle and you're not letting the hips drop without core engagement. Then we are into cable kickbacks. Just notice before I start, I'm tucking my ribs in just to make sure my core is really engaged properly. I'm just gonna kick back to that 45 degree angle to feel it in my glute med and then slow and controlled, bring it back to that starting position. Next up, we have some single leg hip thrusts. Notice how I'm playing around with my foot placement here. I was feeling it a little bit in my quads, so I was just shifting the weight around a little bit to make sure I'm feeling it in the glute. You are not meant to feel it in the quad or hamstring, so don't be afraid to move around your foot to readjust. And just like the regular hip thrust, you're making sure that core is engaged and coming down with you in that push. Okay, here is me struggling after my first leg, but I'm moving on to the other leg of single leg calf raises. I like to hold a dumbbell in my hand on the side of that working leg. This also can be done body weight. Just make sure you are staying nice and controlled as always. And then finally, I go into my cool down. Honestly, this isn't always done. I'm trying to get better at it, but I will spend time foam rolling, just massaging those areas that I was working today. The most effective here is to stay in that one area for two to three minutes. And that is all for today's leg day. Hello, I am just back from the gym. That leg day is my all time favorite. I absolutely love that one. Even though there's a lot of heavy compounds, oh, it just kills, like really hurts. Uh, what I did leave out in between is me dying in between the sets. My camera battery actually was blinking at me and I was like, no, I wanna get this done today. So I powered through. It was like a circuit style leg day. Would not recommend that. Rest in between your sets, please. Um, normally I do, but the battery was stressing me out a little bit. But anyways, a great leg day as always. I might feel it a bit tomorrow just because 
my back has been flaring up a little bit lately. I have an old back injury and it just it it tightens up every now and again. So I actually took a step away from squats for a little bit, maybe for like two or three weeks, just because I was really focusing on my rehab. Um, but I am feeling a lot better now. So I was confident enough going back in. I do get nervous of them every now and again, but honestly, half of it's in my head. Like I can do it. Uh, anyways, I am going to eat my breakfast now. I'm starving. A lot of people ask me if I eat before or after and it is always after. Uh, before, in the morning, you saw how fast I just get up and go. Like I just grab my clothes, grab my pre-workout and leave. I'm not hungry at that time. I think my body is just focusing on waking up, to be honest. But by the time it, the workout's over, I am starving right now. I have the same thing every morning. I have my greens, my multivitamin, vitamin D3 and oats. So I'll take you through that now. Okay, that is it. That is my morning routine done and dusted. That is what I do every single day, Monday to Friday. But yeah, I'm done, done my breakfast, done my journaling, done a bit of social media, and now I'm just gonna go get ready, shower and go to work. So I'm teaching for the day and then I am personal training this evening. So busy day ahead. I know it's tempting to stay in bed, trust me. There's mornings and I definitely want to, but this feeling will always outweigh that don't skip something for a temporary feeling that is temporary that you want to stay in bed for that extra half an hour this feeling outweighs it I promise you um do it do it for yourself it's a perfect start to the day I just feel so much more energetic already I'm so awake I'm ready to attack the day and it hasn't even started yet thank you so much for watching if you watched this far um appreciate the support and I hope you have a great day. Let me know if you have any feedback on it. If you there's anything you would be interested in seeing, just let me know. Thank you guys. Have a great day.